Hey y'all, Ebony here again with another word of encouragement. And um, this is a very quick and short to the point encouragement. And the encouragement is to actively seek out serving and giving to those who are in need. Y'all, I know we do this um, all the time. We plan for this. This is what, um, you know, some of our purposes are to do this. This is some of our assignments in general. But I want to encourage you all. I know with inflation, prices are increasing and all of these things, it's kind of hard, right? And we want to have clenched fists when it comes to giving. We, we don't have time to serve. I want to encourage you to get back to that place where you once loved serving, where you once loved volunteering, where you once loved giving and give to those and serve those who are in need, not just giving to your favorite nonprofit, but partner with those who are truly in need. For those who have been oppressed, those have, who have been deemed outcasts in society, right? The Bible says in Proverbs 19, 17, that he who has pity on the poor lends to the Lord and he will pay back and give to them what has been given, right? He will pay back what has been given. So, Again, he who has pity on the poor is lending to the Lord. And it says, and the Lord will pay you back. It's a promise. The Lord will pay you back for what you have given to those who are in need, to those who are poor, right? So I want to encourage you all to make giving to those who are in need a part of your financial plan and add it as a line item in your budget outside of tithing, outside of offering, outside of, you know, your charitable donations. Also make lending to the poor a priority for you. This is a conditional promise, but, but it's also a key to financial stewardship and being able to receive the blessings from God. So a conditional promise is a promise that says, if you do this, then this is going to be what you receive in return. And we see in Proverbs 19:17 that it says, if you have pity on the poor, you're lending to God, but not only are you lending to God, but the Lord will pay you back. That's the promise. The Lord will pay you back for what you have given right and so i encourage you all today to be merciful be compassionate be gracious and then be a servant and a giver right but the key to this is to be intentional about it right make sure you have a budget set aside for this very purpose and then make sure you're intentionally seeking out those who are in need, right? So when you see someone on the side who's saying they're hungry, it doesn't matter what you assume they're going to do with the money. That's in the Lord's hands. The Lord says he didn't say judge and, you know, figure out who's going to do the right thing and who's not. He says give to those who are in need. Lend to the poor. Give and serve those who are in need. Those who have been oppressed. Those who have been deemed outcasts. And he will reward you for what you have given not for how they use the money okay and so god bless you all. i hope this is encouraging you all to be more merciful to be more compassionate to those who are in need to be more loving to be more gracious and to be cheerful servants and cheerful cheerful givers god bless you all